Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have an open cuboidal tank of height h has a tangular bottom of sides a and b. When it floats in water with the open top upside, a height h remains out of the water. A hole of area s is made in the bottom. If water coming out, sorry, if water coming into the tank from the hole is not taken out, in how much time t will the tank sink? Acceleration of free fall is given as g. Okay, so let us analyze the situation first. I've already drawn the diagram to save you some time. So initially, that means that t equals to zero. What happens that uh, this this is the container, and some portion of the container is inside the water, and some portion uh, that is height h is out of the water. Okay. Now, at t equals to 0, a small hole is made here with cross sectional area s. Okay. Now, water starts entering through this hole. Okay. And uh, as the water starts to enter, this container goes below its initial level. Fine. A time will come when this brim of the container will match the level of the water. And after that time, the water will start entering the container from its opening. Okay. We need to find out the time starting from making of the hole till the brim of the container matches the level of the water. Okay. Now at, I have drawn uh, the situation at any instant. Okay. When y amount of water or y height of water have already entered inside the container okay and uh, that means the height that was outside the water have also decreased to an amount y sorry by an amount y now i am applying bernoulli's equation at this point a and at this point b so what does bernoulli's theorem tells that the sum of the pressure head uh, potential energy head and kinetic energy head will remain constant for a streamlined flow of liquid at any two points fine so at point a we have written pa as we know that height of the height of this liquid or this level does not change so kinetic energy head is zero i have taken this line as the reference line for gravitational potential energy so we can write at this point the potential energy head would be rho g times the total height this height so that is capital H minus small h oops sorry it should be minus h okay capital H minus small h plus y fine and at this point b here the water enters the uh, container with some velocity v I have considered so at point B the pressure is PB half rho V square and potential energy head will be zero. Okay. So here it is H minus small h. So at A the pressure is only atmospheric pressure P naught. Fine. So and the potential energy head is rho G capital H minus small h plus y. At point B the pressure is of course atmospheric pressure that means here there is atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to this height of the liquid that is rho g y fine and the liquid is entering inside the container with an kinetic energy of half, half rho v square per unit volume so ultimately we get the value of v with which the liquid is entering is root over 2 g capital h minus small h that is a constant okay that means until and unless the brim matches the level of the liquid the height difference between this outer liquid and the liquid inside the container always remains same always remains constant fine so now the volume entered inside the liquid uh, sorry volume uh, volume of liquid entered inside the container will match the volume of the liquid displaced due to the container going inside the liquid let us consider in time dt the volume that has entered inside the container is velocity of the liquid cross sectional area times dt 
and the same volume is displaced due to the container that would be the cross sectional area of the container times the length dy by which the volume uh, sorry the length or the height of the container immerses inside the liquid ok. So, this is our uh, volume conservation equation. So, we have placed dt here and uh, I have displaced put the va value of velocity that is root over 2 g capital H minus small h ok. So, at t equals to 0 value of y was 0 and uh, when the brim of the container matches the level of the liquid after time t value of y will be h ok. That means, this whole thing will come under the liquid ok. So, just uh, I have put the values here and the final value of time is expressed by this one ok. Now, we can just put the values and we will get uh, the final answer is 15 seconds uh, you can do it by yourself ok. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you like the video please give a thumbs up if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and one more thing a big shout out to Janardhan sir. Uh, he uploaded a wonderful lecture on rotational fluid that whether we can apply Bernoulli's equation or not in a rotational fluid. Uh, I have not seen the whole video because I was busy in my classes, I uh, will be watching right now. I will provide the link in my description, you can go watch that video for clarification of your uh, doubts in Bernoulli's equation ok. Uh, wonderful personality he is and he invested about 4 days in a single video, in a single 30 minutes video ok. I think uh, this is our duty to share his video and uh, to provide positivity so that we can motivate him to provide us such beautiful content ok. And uh, that is enough, see you all in the next video, peace.